At some point in your build with your car, you're gonna have to ask yourself the question, is it time to take a break yet? Whether it be for money reasons, you know, parts issues, like nowadays you can't get any parts it seems. So is it time to put your car up for a little while and move on to something else? We're gonna talk about that today. Now, as you all know, this car started from pretty much scratch. Uh, basically the only thing that saved this car from being crushed was the fact that it had a title and uh, <laughs> Me and Andrew come up with the uh, bright idea of trying to save this car and turn it into a uh, 93 Cobra clone. As you all know by now, this thing is Calypso green and it is a 93 Cobra tribute style build. Well, the Calypso has reached a point that we can't go any further with it at the moment. We're still waiting on our transmission. Uh, guys, there again, it goes back to the supply chain. We just can't get anything going at the moment. Hopefully here soon though, we will. So at this point, we've done the Terminator X, we've put the new 347 in it, we've got our turbo on it, everything is tuned, and I will start the car up for you guys uh, just to let you hear it because I spent about six hours last night, pulled the turbo header off over there, sealed everything up, and got our header leak fixed. Uh, and really that was the final thing that needed to be done. We got our cooling system addressed on it, the car now stays nice and cool. So we've reached a point where we can't go any further. The next step with this car is to take it racing. We've only taken this car to the track one time and it was an absolute utter disaster. This car just did not perform good. We had clutch issues. So we put the C4 in it and we've had issues with the C4. Now this is just part of being a car guy. These are the things that you're gonna run across and you have to stay positive, right? Because you don't wanna give up on something that you've got so much time and so much money in. But there comes a point when you need to take a break. And right now I think we need to take a break from this car because what's gonna happen here, and I've been through this many, many times, and I can tell you this from my experience and you guys that have been around these cars or anything for that matter, any car, you guys can relate. What happens when you run into a situation like this with your car where you're on standby, like I said, either you don't have the money or you just don't have the parts, you start to resent your car. And this is where cars tend to be sold. You know, and a perfect example is like you guys up north that have to deal with harsh winters and maybe you just get your build done, you're all excited about it and then the tracks shut down. You've got all this time, all this money invested, you busted your butt over the summer and you got your car done, you're excited about it and now you gotta wait months and months and months for the tracks to open again and for you to get your car out. I've seen this happen so many different times. People start to lose hope and they feel like everything that they've done is for nothing. So, so they put the car up for sale and then you know, next thing you know, somebody else bought it, they take it to the track and oh wow, this thing's fast, it runs awesome. Now you're regretting it, right? This is the reason why I'm making this video. At some point, we need to put our bills on hold. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry about what the internet is saying. Don't worry about what your friends are even saying. Who cares if it's taking you a little bit longer to build your car for whatever reason? That doesn't mean that you need to necessarily sell it and move on to something else. I have failed on many builds before. I've been successful on a few. And the best feeling is when you've been successful. When that happens, when you see a build through, like this car, or even this car, when you see your build through, you really are connected with this car and you don't wanna sell it. You don't want somebody to have your baby that you put so much time and so much money in. That's why I suggest any of you guys that are struggling with your build, see it through. If it takes you an extra year, two years, whatever the case may be, go ahead and see it through. And I've touched on this before uh, in my other video, but, you know, everybody gets tired of their car, right? <laughs> we all do. I'm guilty of it. I've wanted to paint this thing 10 different times since I painted it Calypso. I just want a different color, I want a different look. I've thought about picking up another car just so that I can have a different color or just a different look, right? All right, so think about this, guys. If you have a hatchback, meaning anything other than a coupe, a hatchback LX, a GT, it doesn't matter. These cars can be pretty much whatever you want them to be. They can be a four eye car if you'd like. You can put the four eye bumper on it. It can be a Cobra. It can be an LX. Like if I want this car to go back to its roots, it could be an LX 5.0 car, no problem. Just take everything off of it, put it right back like it was, right? These things can be pretty much whatever you want them to be. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is we all get tired of our cars, right? And we, we think we want something else. We want another car or we want another color or just another build. Well guys, you got a blank canvas when you own a Fox body. So I suggest change the one up that you've got. Let it be your car that has seen many different iterations of itself 
Now that's not for everybody because let's be honest, I mean, paint jobs are expensive and most people don't wanna go out and spend thousands of dollars on a paint job for the same old car. They would rather just go out and buy a car. So this is not for everybody. Trust me, I understand that. For some of you guys that really love your car but you just want something different or you're thinking about maybe adding another car to the collection, for some of you, this may be a better option. Repaint your car, put a different spoiler on it, change the wheels out, change your interior, change up the motor setup. There are tons of different options out here for these cars. You can change your ground effects, uh, change your exhaust up, right? You can make this thing whatever. With nothing more than a paint job and a set of wheels, we could literally turn this thing into a vibrant red 93 Cobra. Also, with nothing more than a paint job, we could do this thing into a two-tone GT, just like this. Look, one of my favorite things on the channel is to motivate you guys, right? You guys motivate me, and I like to motivate you. So, sometimes you just need to hear it from a different perspective. We all like new cars. We all wanna pick up something new and start this new build. But guys, if we really sit back and we think about it, we think about our budget, our time, maybe the space that we have. Look, we got three cars crammed in here right now and there's really no room to work. So you have to think about that ahead of time. You know, do you have the space? Do you have the money? Do you have the time? All these things matter, right? Before you go out and you grab another car because you're bored with this one. Guys, if you're bored with the current car you have, rather than buying another car, why don't you change some things up? Put your car on hold for a little while. Go spend time with your family. Go spend time with your friends. Pick up a new hobby. What we don't wanna do is get so aggravated and so lost right now with our cars that we give up on them. And the worst thing that you can honestly do is go sell one of these cars. And I know the prices are up right now on Fox Bodies and you're thinking, well, now's the time to sell. But guys, what if these prices don't come back down? And there's a good chance that they're not. So you go out and you sell your car, you make three grand off of it. Wow, that's awesome, right? Go try to buy another one just as nice as what you sold. Chances are you're gonna have to pay more money for it, right? So I say stick out the build that you're currently working on, but if you need to, take a break from it. So why am I saying this right now? Well, the Clipso, like I said before, is at a point to where I feel like we can pull the plug on it for a while and we can park this thing. It's in a good place. It runs good, the, the temperature's down on it now, we got that addressed. Um, it basically just needs a transmission so that we can take this thing racing. Now, I live down in the south, so we can race pretty much up into like November, all right? So by then we should have our transmission sorted out. I'm going to take this car, put it up in the garage, and forget about it. I need to do that mentally so that I'm not worried about this car because every time I see it, I think it needs a transmission or it needs this or it needs that, right? I have to put this car in the back of my mind so that I can move forward with something else, regardless of what that may be. Now, just so happens, I'm moving forward on this car. This is the car that we will be moving forward on for at least a little while, probably a week, couple weeks, something like that. We're gonna be doing some things to the Retro Fox, getting this thing hooked up. That's why this car is taking a break. So, with all that being said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead, wrap this video up, we're gonna take the Calypso clone, put it up there in the garage, and start on this. Stay tuned, because in the next video, we're gonna get started on a Retro Fox, and I think a lot of you guys are really gonna like this. But for now, let's go ahead and start the Calypso up. Let's listen to this thing. I want you guys to hear just how quiet this thing is now that we've got the header leak fixed. Before we go on vacation, we like to clean our house up. That way when we get back, 
we got a nice clean house and we're not worried about it while we're on vacation same thing with this all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up and as always